Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Greetings everyone from Little Rock. Check out this Dollar Tree. Look how comfy this one looks compared to some of the other ones I've seen. This one looks pretty cool. We saw it last night right before we checked into our hotel and I said, look how comfy that looks with all the trees and the plants out here in the parking lot, even like behind me. It's like hidden in the back of this shopping area. There's a Walmart and a bunch of other places, but I wanna go in there and check it out. So let's go see this uh, Dollar Tree here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Dollar Tree. You know, I love these stores. Wow. Hmm. It's a smaller store, but it ain't half bad. Look at these. These are cool with the starfish. Sand is my favorite beach. You could put sand there. I'd get it from the Outer Banks. Put in there. Wish upon a starfish. Very cool. I like the ones with the fish on top, too. But let's take a look at this place real quick. I got a lot of summer goodies in here. Sweet summertime. You might have seen this. I picked this up at another location, and I got that last year. This one reminds me of the one in Gibsonia, Pennsylvania, right by that Walmart. It's laid out, I think, exactly the same. Oh, look at these. Life is better at the beach. I agree. Even though we're going to Texas, which is awesome too. That's pretty cool though. Sorry, I'm just kind of zigzagging around. There's people all over. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. They are actively stocking the shelves. So it's a little cluttered in here this morning but that's okay. Little cluttered. Oh yeah. Holy cow. I hope it's not like this all the time. I'm sure it's not, they're, they're stocking. I, I'd like to hope. That one we saw though last night in uh, Brinkley, wow we you can't even get in that aisle. That one's closed off. We can get through here. Wow, dollar twenty-five for all that toilet paper? I think I'm gonna pick that up. Oh wait, no, that's a Dollar Tree Plus five dollars. Okay, so this one has Dollar Tree Plus items in it. Yeah, look. Five dollars, three dollars. I was gonna say that's too good to be true. I forgot some Dollar Trees were doing that Dollar Tree Plus stuff. I forgot all about that. Remember, we saw a couple in Arlington last year like that. It was a prototype. They were trying it out. I got gotcha you now. Yeah, that aisle's closed off. No big deal though. Now these are actually a great deal because normally these are like three dollars or two fifty. Here they're a buck twenty-five for uh, Bang. I do like Bang energy drinks. I don't typically drink energy drinks much. I, I barely, barely touch. I had to do one yesterday driving from Pennsylvania down to Texas, but um, I got a good night's sleep, so I don't really think I need one today, but that sounds good, though. But these aren't bad. Bang energy drinks are usually like $2.50 to $3, so to see them in here for buck twenty-five, that's a great deal. Yeah, boy, they're actively working in this store. Wow, look at the coolers. They're completely empty. Oh, well. It happens. I gotta stay away from food. Maybe they don't have any cold uh, bang energy drinks, but that's all right. 
we're looking down the last aisle here. There's a lot of people in here, and I try to keep people's faces off camera. You can't avoid it all the time, but I am trying. Anybody need a cart full of brooms? I need all of these. Just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> Ow. Here's the front end again. They are working. So I'd like to think that it'll be nicer when they catch up with stocking all their items from the truck. I would think, anyway. I want to find DVDs, though. No? I guess not. We were down this aisle. Maybe that's in the aisle that's closed off. Wow, they got a lot of drinks in this aisle. Look, they got more bangs. They have a lot of drinks in here. I know Kayla wanted me to grab her a water. So we're going to do that. I'm going to grab something too. It's pretty busy in here for 9 in the morning. They just opened up a little bit ago. So I just left the store there. There's the guy with the keys now. The alarm's been going off for like 10 minutes. And there's people in the car. Yeah. Other people. Are you shutting it off? now? I would like to think or hope. And now it's out of view because of that car. No, here we go. Maybe you got to start it? I don't know. Normally you hit the unlock button. Okay, Thank great. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to wrap that video up a little bit early here. I know that was a shorter Dollar Tree video. That's probably one of the shortest ones I've ever done. Um, you know, it is nice and comfy and cool as this one looked from the outside. The inside was, I don't want to say rough, but it was a dirtier store. And I'm not trying to pick on the people working here at all. Um, Obviously, it's it's only 20 to 10 here in the morning on a Saturday, and they probably had a truck overnight, and they're unloading it. But they had a lot of merchandise on the on the uh, sales floor, on the floor, and on carts that they are trying to put out onto the shelves. And one thing I did notice in here, no discredit to the employees, they're all working very hard to stock the store. So. Uh, kudos to them and everybody was super nice in there. That's one thing I noticed about here down in the south People are just so nice down here. Not saying that people up north aren't But we've people down really, here are so much nicer Yeah, like we've met some really nice people in the north, but we've also met some uh, I don't really rude say, people I don't want to say what I was gonna say because you would get demonetized Yeah, I would I don't feel like busting out the uh, bleep machine for like 10 minutes mm -hmm. on here I thought people were gonna treat me like I was you know, just meh, whatever, like nobody cares. But I go in there, people are like, good morning. And that's one thing I like about the South. People up North don't do that. I try to say good morning to somebody walking by and they look at me like, who the hell are you talking to? It's just sad. But anyway, that's that Southern hospitality. I just, I love the South, sorry. But anyway, uh, I really hope that they could get this store cleaned up. I'd like to see what it looks like later in the day once they get the truck pushed and everything. So I would imagine that it would look better. That, that one we saw in Brinkley, though, man, that that was pretty backed up, too. But same thing applies. They could be understaffed. They could have just got the truck in and were ready to do it overnight. I don't know. But this is a nice, comfy store. I actually want to go to the end of the parking lot and show you the outside of the store because this is what we saw last night. Now, this is what we saw last night. You see all the trees, it kind of hides back there, but it just looks so comfy. Every other Dollar Tree and all the other stores, they're always just in these big shopping centers. There's no vegetation, no trees, no wildlife, nothing. Here, it's like in the middle of the forest. Yeah, it's like they put a shopping center in the middle of the forest. It might be hard to tell on camera, but in person, it's like pretty... Yeah, because I mean, if you look all around back here, look at that. Look at that drive with all the trees on it. It's beautiful down here. And yeah, you got your Walmart over there, but this was pretty nice. Anyway, we gotta hit the road. Uh, we got four and a half more hours until we get to Kayla's family's house, and uh, I'm excited. It's gonna be a nice day. We're gonna get there nice and early today, too, and I, I, I'm looking forward to all the videos we're gonna be bringing dad, you guys from Texas. My dad is making street tacos. My dad is a badass cook, and he's also making brisket, 
brisket stuffed peppers. That's something I've never heard of, but Me it's going to be really good. You better eat them. Eat everything. Not. You don't eat sushi. You don't eat salad. How many times have I said I don't like to eat the food that my food eats. How many times have I said, Wally, would you like a salad? That's too healthy for That's me. That's too healthy for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Texas to get fatter than Listen, I already am. That's why I'm going to live to be 100 and you're going to live to be like 10. Wait. Well, I'm in my mid-30s now. If I'm lucky, I might make it to 40. At least I'll go out with a bang and I'll go out happy. I'm happy eating my salad, so whatever. <laughs> if you want to be a hater, be a hater. Fine. I'm not a hater. Anyway, we're just joking, but we're going to take off. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that Dollar Tree video, even though it was a little bit shorter. I just, I really wanted to film this one because when I saw it last night, I was like, wow, look at that. I got to check that one out. And uh, I just wish the inside was in a little bit better shape than it was, but um, really it's not really their fault, but that's just how the company is. Some stores are really clean, some aren't. But they're trying. They're trying. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Dollar Tree. Yeah, we'll see you. Bye, everyone. Bye.